how you feel about you know what is going on in the dance hall right now is is the general dying or what is happening tell us how you feel about it. about dance hall or about um reggae dance hall let's let's keep it dance hall we could touch on reggae but i want to start on dance hall because i think um reggae is the umbrella right and you right. you mentioned that the prime minister will show up for um like a chronics but not for uh, an alkaline and i think the reason for that is dancehall has always been um more of you know what the upper enchilons of society don't want to associate with you see what i mean because the the the, the, the lyrics is raunchy and loud and and out there right so reg and that's why reggae we have to we keep going back to reggae because at the end of the day reggae is where the people that quote unquote has power and influence will go to uh got but you don't say upper beat got burner boys um is upper beat and um prime minister holness was at his concert okay you don't you don't believe upper beat is as raunchy as dancer me think they're just as raunchy i think upper beat is just as wrong not as violent but there you go there you go <laughs> <laughs> Afrobeat, I, I think Afrobeat is, it's really hard to, I think there's something more psychologically, so psychological going on with Afrobeats. It's like mm -hmm. going back to the roots and it's hard to ignore because it's just so, it's so real and so, it's, it, there's like a soul connection with Afrobeats. And I think even though it's raunchy, it's not as in your face. There's something about it. It's like how people could talk about, you know, sexual things within R&B. But if you say the same thing in hip hop, it just comes off as worse. So there is, there is something about Afrobeats that sort of tones down everything, and the music is just so soulful that you connect and focus more on the whole beat itself, more okay. than the lyrics itself. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But you yeah. can't avoid, you can't ignore Afrobeats. It's, it's almost like going back to the roots, really. And I think dancehall, similar to hip hop, haven't found a way. Mm -hmm to say certain things in a way that is palatable for a wide audience. Same, same. So that's why they said some dancer song never left the shores of Jamaica. I never left the Caribbean. Right, <laughs> right. right. Right, but really they're all saying the same thing in a different way. We just have to find a way. And maybe dancehall artists and, and fans will say, well, that's what dancehall was meant to be raunchy and we're okay with it, right? But if you want to grow and if you want to go into all the rooms you gotta find a way yes. to communicate it where everybody can eat from that plate right right i i, I hear what you're saying that that makes sense so it's, it's it's a matter of just making the lyrics more palatable what, what about the beat though you think a lot of people say dancer lose the bass line which after beat come back with a strong bass line now reggaeton have a bass line you be, you you believe that argument that dancer kind of lose that Strong bass line right used to have. Listen, when the authentic of anything shows up, you're going to be watered down. Afrobeat is African music. Reggaeton, right. dance, all we all were a, we all took a part of Afrobeat, whether we want, want to admit it or not. It's all African music. So if African True. music shows up, so say for instance you're you're drinking mango juice and mango candies and mango flavored cookies. When mango yeah. shows up, you're going <laughs> to go to mango. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying Afrobeat is the real thing? Afro, you, it's undeniable. There's a no, soul connection I, with it. You have to move. So, so now you know as a Jamaican, some, some Jamaicans going to be angry at you for saying that, right? <laughs> They're going to want to say dance I'll come first and Afrobeat come after. But I, I don't think yes. any, any evolved, enlightened person will say that <laughs> there's no way i think at this point everybody knows what the origin is the origin of everything okay not just dance everything like every even the origin of men is african right right so, so, I don't so it's not the monica it's not so much the monica or the when the genre was named but Dan, um, Afrobeat was always there when in the eighties when dancehall start. Even though we weren't hearing about Afrobeat, it wasn't called that, but it was already there. It was that already Afrobeat. It's, it's all Afrobeats. 
so so would you say even going back as far as then as um rocksteady or ska and them think those things are also afrobeat it is my opinion that everything is african so i'm sure okay. somebody else will have a different opinion and it wouldn't be wrong or right but based right. on my knowledge and my yeah. the depth of my knowledge i i will always say everything is african and even though you might split it I mean, even down to what humans look like and what we were taught to believe is the right features. You know what I'm saying? Like even like lips yeah. or something. Like just take lips for example. Yeah. People in the West were told for for decades that thick lips are are ugly. Yeah. So then you used to tell me. Right. <laughs> and and what's happening now? We're we're making people with thin lips are injecting their lips to make sure that it looks it's bigger. What is that? It's just African. Everything goes back to Africa, in my opinion. So that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean that it's wrong or right. It just means that based on all evidence. They might inject them little scar, they want to look like me. <laughs> it, 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 so I think everything goes back to Africa. There's no, yeah, so. But that's See. all, you know, it's a reflection of our, of our times and of our culture and of our sector you know, that clings right. and leans closer to that. Um, right. We can't really blame the artists for yeah. putting out what people are gravitating to. That, that's true. And, you know, I was looking at some numbers and to tell you the truth, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, the 90s was the best time for dance hall and this. But to tell you the truth, the numbers that the, the Bounty Killer and the Beanie Man were doing in the 90s, artists like Skilly Bang and King and them and the, they're doing greater right now and you know a lot of it have to do with social media but i was know, about to past... say it's hard to measure yeah. that we didn't have instagram right it's very right. hard to measure that uh, there's That's no true. way you could tell me if we had all the social media that we have yeah. now when Beaniman and killa when they were hot you know we would it would be astronomical yeah yeah, yeah they'll, they'll be way they'll be they'll way. Take it way ahead. People Absolutely. like 100%. Um, and seen, seen. And and that was because of the, they are the original dancer beat then. Cause back then, you know, dancer was still slack, you know. Oh, if you absolutely. listen to all the terror, terror fabulous position, I mean, <laughs> maybe it's not as raunchy as some of you're hearing today, but position was a real, a real raunchy song. And it but was it a was big song. palatable. It was palatable. Yeah. So. A, a, a young artist coming up now, a young reggae artist, say, you know, a, a youth in his late teens or early 20s. What would you say to an artist like that to make his music more than just dance or which part, woman a wind up in a tree, a man a jump off a house for a woman, but we, uh, we can make a lyrics, even if it's sexual, but we're a couple, an intelligent couple can really go out and dance to that song and enjoy themselves. What you gotta tell them they need to do? Just... How, how, how you make it more palatable? That, that, I guess that's a question I'm going to ask. I think we have to transition into that. I don't think, I don't think we get to tell any one person um, yeah. how to do... Because they, you know, like I said, music is a reflection of where we are at any given time. So yeah. diversity also matters, right? Right, right. There is going to be groups of people that are going to like groups of different things. So I don't think we, we tell anyone what to do. I think you allow people to express themselves and you allow them to experience whatever that comes with it. And they'll eventually mm. transition into whatever the next step is. That's just the laws of nature. It's how it works. Um, mm. But I, I, don't, I think we overstep if we start trying to tell people. Um, I know what my preference is. I know what I'm going to listen to when I get in my car. Right. And yeah, but somebody else wants to listen to something else. So it's not a matter of telling them really, but I was thinking more of like, say, an artist, I yeah, know him did it and him, him a work hard and him a do music and him say, boy, look, burn a boy, I just come sell out National Stadium and look how long me there and me can't even sell out a club. You know, me can't sell out a, a, a club of all 300 people. And the man comes sell out a stadium where all tens of thousands. Yes, you see what I mean? I say, sure, but oh, you're going to have to look at. What does Burner Boy have that I don't have? Aye, aye. So it's a lot more than, it's a lot more than, you know, whatever the content is. It's a lot more than that. I think personally, Burner Boy can say whatever he wants to say. And it's going to sell. It's going to work. 
because burn a boy is burn a boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's well, I, you, you just have it. Yeah, yeah. You just do. Some people got it and some people don't. And some people got it a little bit and some people got it more. He has charisma is authentic. We're looking at him like whether we want to accept it or not. When someone like that come up, we're looking at that like that's an authentic black man. That's a man straight off the continent. There's no comparison. Right. You can't compete. Right, we right, got right. Everything that we have that is good outside of Africa is a reflection of that. And now you have the person embodying the real authentic thing. Right, it right, goes back right. to that mango idea and it infused products of the mango and getting the real thing. It doesn't compare. Burner Boy is everything that we've all been trying to achieve and attain. Oh, so when you as a female say Burner Boy, you're seeing a real African man, the real thing. If Not you believe in that. I'm born in Africa. Uh, and he's charismatic. And he's, he's, he has a great persona. And he's not arrogant. He comes across as humble, right? You see what I mean? It's a true, it's a true version of masculinity. Right, right. It goes beyond the music. It's it like goes be saying. yeah. It's it goes way beyond the music. The music is is the music, but but the person as well. The person matters, man. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. I hear that. That's true. That's true. So as as we're talking about dance, what what? Let's kind of transition in, into reggae, you know, like um. Where, where, where you? Why you think the state of reggae is right now? Like, I think, I think reggae is reggae. I think reggae ebbs and flows, and mm. and I think, I don't think reggae ever dies. I think no, it, it will never. It, I don't think reggae, reggae ever dies because when it comes to Jamaican music, like everything stems from that, right? That is the umbrella of all things. And even some of the the Afrobeat stuff, people categorize as reggae. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like whether or not it's correct. But I think reggae reggae is um soul food and it's and whenever the people need to speak from an authentic, conscious place, elevated place, reggae mm -hmm. will come back into its fold. Uh, I, I think reggae is just what it is. Even though I, I look at dancehall as a phase. But I don't look at reggae it's, as a phase. I feel like reggae is the mansion. You know what I'm saying? And, right, and right. all the other music lives within it. Right, right, yeah. right. So coffee, Leela, High, Chronics, I, I still reggae them. Even though sometimes they add their little flavor, I still, it's still reggae under that reggae umbrella. Yeah, especially like of the three that you named, I would say Chronics. Okay. So, um... The, the numbers is, is one thing then, like, you know, you see, even though it's more streaming, no more than sales, when a hip hop album drop, you they are still selling tens or even hundreds of thousands. They're not selling millions no more, mm -hmm. but they're still selling tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. To get on a, on a reggae chart, like to be number one on iTunes, if you sell 500 copy of album, you're, you're number one. Like, why do why you think the audience is not growing for reggae? Are, are, the consuming audience, I should say, why, you know. Because people are able to download MP3s. Yeah, but they're able to do it on hip-hop too. So, you know, why is it us not supporting the reggae artists? We don't have or? the machine that, that hip-hop artists have. Okay. So, how we, how we get that machine? Because if you think it about it, if you really want to break it down, reggae mm -hmm. is international, sure. But when, yeah. a re when reggae music drops, it needs to come out of Jamaica for people right. to catch on to it and to gravitate to it. It's what I'm saying. Like, it's almost as if Jamaica has to stamp it first. I kind of, I kind of disagree. You know why? Right. Because if you look at these California bands like Revolution and Stick Figure and them, mm -hmm. those are the guys that's running the reggae charts. Like, you know? Yeah, but I don't, I don't look at them as, I look at them as infiltrators. I don't really look at them as reggae. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> infiltrate that's a strong word uh, that, no it's, strong it's word. but it's real uh, when i think about reggae i'm not thinking about Cal i'm sorry you know what I, I i think that's a topic that's worth worth discussing at, at another time like yeah. are these people infiltrators like you know, if um and i'm not saying that people shouldn't um delve into yeah. other other music and whatever but i think it's still in, infiltrating. Like we infiltrate. It's not a negative word. It's a real word. 
Yeah, I know, I know. But Would I say kinda... certain words have yeah. a negative connotation, but just pick up the dictionary and look what it means. Right, right. That's what I was about to say. You know, it kind of have a negative <laughs> infiltration. Like, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm going to stay here and play holy. I, when one of them did win the um the reggae Grammy, it was, oh. a, I can't remember her name, but it was a, a lady from England, white lady. She was from another genre, never did reggae before and did one reggae album and won the Grammy. And I was like, yo, you got to be kidding me. And she was, and her album was like the top selling um reggae album. But yeah, even today I saw something um in the Jamaica Observer of Shaggy saying that, you know, this is the most excited he has been about the Grammy because he's there with, in win one with Sting already, but Sting wasn't there and he's hoping Sting is going to be there this time. And I'm thinking, Sting is not even a reggae artist, so what are you talking about? But And, and that's besides... what I mean. So when I, honestly, when I when I get a question about reggae music and the state and whatever, I'm really not thinking about that. those people. Sure, they're there and they're influential and they bring eyes to, but even if 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 those people bring eyes to to reggae, what are the what what is the the message that you're getting? Is, is it authentic? Would you say that it's authentic? To be honest with you, I never really listen to them that much. I I listen to the first minute of a song and they don't catch me, and then we move on to the whole song. The whole the whole sizzling. So what? Music, them. So what? Reggae music doesn't catch you. If reggae music doesn't catch you, something yeah. you got to think about that. <laughs> Uh, 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 that's a good point so you said the fact that i try listening to it and it never really hooked me then that should tell that should tell me something i'm not yeah don't <laughs> take what you want from that <laughs> you know put word in my mouth what that should tell me something <laughs> because it's very hard for reggae to not catch you yeah yeah that that's true that's i can true. listen to dance all to certain music dance all hip-hop whatever all the other yeah I, and i can just move along but when when it's a reggae song, even if it doesn't catch me in the first, you know what I mean, uh, sixteen yeah. bars or whatever, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be like, let me listen to this a little bit more. Let me get to the, let me get to the hook. Yeah, that's true. That that's true. I'm giving and, it the and, time of day for it to resonate. Right, right, right. right. That's true because you know, I, I, and it's it's not a Jamaican thing. I could say that because artists like. Lucky Dubey, I mean, I, I love that guy, bless his soul, you know what I mean? UB40, Aswad from England, or Steel Pulse. I love those reggae groups like like I love any Jamaican group, so I know it's not a yeah. Jamaican thing. Or even a color thing, uh, UB40, uh, a lot of them are, are, are white, so it, the music got to hit you. So it's something to think of, the fact that me try to listen to Revolution and couldn't listen to it. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> and that's what that's what I say about infiltrating because that's the word literally just means to gain insect in um access. Did okay. I just say incest? Okay. Oh God, I wonder what my mind's doing. <laughs> but I did not mean that. Um, <laughs> different topic, different time. <laughs> <laughs> to gain to gain access, it's it's that's literally what infiltrate means. To gain okay. access to a secret or a specialized sort of influence right so right. you're not from so the reason why it's infiltration is you're not jamaican you're tapping into something that is not yours yes. to gain access and then to repackage and 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 share you see what i mean so for yeah. people who automatically think infiltration is a negative word it's not so snoop dog what you call snoop um infiltrator remember i did that reggae he was snoop playing like for a little while right like for less than a year <laughs> would you call would you call that infiltration or just no hip, hip hop marine? Okay. No, because I mean, what is hip hop? Well, like, where did hip hop come from? Like, do we want to go there? Seen, seen. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, I, I it's an it's under the umbrella. True, true. In in Kunaman is the lion thing, though. That so I don't know. <laughs> it, it's it's it, hip hop. Just think about hip hop. Like, if if. I don't know how many of us understand where that came from or that that was a direct influence of Jamaicans. I don't know if people know that, but I think right. again, reggae is the umbrella. I think now with the uh, with the internet, most people most people know now that you know it is it is from the Jamaican culture. There you go. So, somebody, yeah. so it's not somebody different to me. It's all the same. Seeing, seeing, it's one one just the part one one the um. What you call it? Ebonics. Ebonics. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's Ebonics. 
You have lyrics now. Get the people that like lyrics now. What, what, the, what is wrong with you? Stop. No, me just I said, cut no, the way, the way you talk, you know, the way you, you, you say it's Ebonics and the way you, you could tell that you have some lyrics. So I wonder if you want to give them a little I don't have lyrics. any lyrics. You sing, have, you ever sing it? I have conversation, that's it. You never sing it? <laughs> uh, have you ever sing in the shower? I think when I was <laughs> born, I think when I was born before, you know, like this is my second life. I don't sing okay. in this life. Let let eighteen carat reggae know a little more about VX. Let eight, the fans of eighteen carat reggae know a little more about VX. Tell them a little about yourself. Um, there's nothing really that I I wanna. I'm Jamaican. I'm 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 Jamaican. I'm African. Um, I I'm a Garveyite. I, I was about to say. What was that? I was about to say she's a Garveyite to the core. <laughs> right. But there's nothing really that is that I really wanna share in that sense. I yeah, no, I I engage in social commentary like the so um so um sort of like, you know, I'm I'm involved. I like anything that has to do with um society and the sociology of it. And yeah, I'm a Garveyite. That's that's as much as I'll say. So, so when you're gonna come back and do some discussion on, on Garveyite and the state of the Black nation and so on and so forth, are we ready for that? <laughs> well, of, of course, of uh, yeah. course. Before we turn 18 care again, we used to be T cool, taking care of our own. So, and that comes straight from Marcus Garvey. So, of course, so we're ready for something like that. That's a fact. I think in small doses, maybe. Oh yeah. So you 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 you're giving the you're promising the fans that you're coming back to um to discuss Marcus Garvey soon. Oh, of course. Like I'm always I'm, I you know what I'm saying. It's Garvey all day. It's I'm just saying, are we as a people ready to? Which is crazy because everything else came from Garvey. But anyway, that's a again. <laughs> you know what I mean. We have, um, we have no choice but to be ready, right? Yeah. So, but I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I think we're distracted. Uh, and social media playing a big part of that. Yeah, and just people not focused on certain things. I'm not going to say the wrong or right things, right? But I think like Garvey <laughs> left such a blueprint that if we follow it, we can't go wrong. But a lot of people are thinking that, you know, what 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 we're focused on is not really what is and if we really like go back to those principles like we will get everything that we're chasing regardless by using the principles but again for another day okay okay well well we're on it I'll, I'll say one thing that that i believe i think the reason why um it's, it seemed like we're not ready for marcus garvey and marcus garvey didn't resonate as much as he should because he looks marcus garvey looks too african like when you see marcus garvey you say africa and I don't know whether it's white or black. A lot of people don't want to take a message from um from a, from an African. You see, if you if you if you package up Marcus Garvey message and get to Bob, figure say one love, everybody will embrace it. But why you never embrace it when Bob when um, Marcus Garvey say it, right? Because you have to look at the time, the times too, right? Or is it that we as black we we love entertainment so much and and don't love books enough, right? So we weren't reading, we were listening to songs, but we were reading books to read the speeches of Marcus Garvey and CCIM say certain things and, you know. But I think in all fairness, the times, the time difference, when, when Garvey yeah. was around and was moving, right, we yeah. were much further behind. You know what I mean? As right. time goes by and our knowledge increases and we become more so socially aware and conscious, we're more uh -huh. able to to digest certain certain messages. Bob came way after that. And imagine if someone else, you know, does that now, it will be even more much more acceptable. So I think we have to think about the time as well. Garvey was in the pits. Right, right. You see what I mean? So who do you see as a new Garvey today? Uh, I don't see one. Maybe you have to step up and be that one. No, listen. Mm. I see pockets. I see like a few people that 
together because everybody's sort of like focused on different things. I think together in a package, we would have Garvey, but I don't see any one person. And I don't really think you can replicate Garvey, really. No, no, it's not about replicating. It's, yeah. it's about keeping that that vision and that thing alive, right? Like the, the things he said, the things, the, the goals he had, you know, because... I do. I honestly believe he, he was a prophet. I know the FBI them did call him um the Black Moses or whatever. But you know they they do that over a suit for them um agenda. Agenda. But, yeah. Right. Right. But he, he he was really a prophet. And when he say you know look for me in the in the world when I storm because I shall come back with you know how the Africans that died in the mega passage and so forth. I I actually believe in that and think one day there will be a revolution sparked by Gavi by Gavi teachings. You know what I mean? We but, have to, we always have to go back to the original. There's no way around it. As, as you said before, you can't keep you keep doing that mango extract. <laughs> <laughs> there's, mango come along. <laughs> there's no way there's no way around it. And once we get back to Garvey, that will be the realness. All right, Miss Vex. So yeah, man, um we're gonna wrap up this one on the state of dance hall, but Miss Vex promise she's gonna come back one day and we're gonna go into some of the teaching of Marcus Gavis so of people. Remember, if you like what I go on, subscribe and you know anything anything else you want to say before we check out Miss Vex? No, I'm 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 good. Um thanks for having me and I look forward to coming back to some of these discussions. Thanks for having you. You're part of the family, you just did a hide. <laughs> well, podcast wise. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, she, this is her first time on the podcast, people, but she's by no means a guest. She's part of the family, core to the core. So I Thank you. Go. All right. So big up and respect, and we go, we're going to link up and talk again, Zin. For sure. All right. Take care. All right. Respect. Blessed.